This is a mechanical color television that I built using the Arduino Jue. I'll let it run for a minute or two and then we can turn it around and take a closer look. In order to sync with the camera, I run it at uh, 25 frames per second. So when it reaches 1500 RPM, then the video will start. I'll just I'll kill the light to help the contrast ratio. This cartoon is called uh, Mickey's Surprise Party, produced for the 1939 World's Fair, and is currently the only color Mickey Mouse cartoon in the public domain. The image that you see is actually a crop of about roughly one quarter of the original frame. Um, otherwise, some of the details are too small to see. Uh, it's only a 32 hole disc, so 32 lines of resolution. Okay, let's turn it around and take a closer look. Okay, so here you can see all the major components, starting with the disc. Uh, this is actually a 32-hole aluminum disc. It was cut using um, a water jet. Um, this is a 12-volt DC brushed motor. Um, marine speaker <clears throat> and um, I'll zoom in a bit closer here we can take a closer look at the uh, control boards. So the heart of it all is the Arduino Jue microcontroller which is this green board sandwiched in the middle here and on top of that is a little shield that I built so the shield has uh, these are these are three uh, SPI DACs, three 8-bit DACs used to produce 24-bit uh, color. This is just a, a voltage reference for the DAX and this is uh, an SD card um, which is also using SPI although uh, the SD is actually using hardware SPI whereas the three DAX are sharing a common um, a bit banged uh, uh, software SPI. Um, okay so on the main board here um, this is the there's a 12-volt input um, from an external power supply. Uh, power switch. This is a, an audio amplifier based on uh, LM3 to 6. Uh, these are a couple of voltage regulators. This one is, is set for um, uh, 9 volts for the audio circuitry and this one is set for 6 volts for the video circuitry. Uh, this is a, a power MOSFET uh, used to uh, control the motor using pulse width modulation. And um, down here, uh, these, these three uh, power transistors in combination with this quad op amp circuit um, implement uh, uh, three uh, voltage to current converters. So the, the three DAC outputs are voltage outputs uh, from 0 to 1 volt, um, you know, 256 levels for each, for each DAC. But in order to control the LEDs, which are our current devices, um, it's necessary to convert the voltage from the DAC to a current and that's what the circuitry here is doing. Um, you can't really see it here but uh, this wire coming in here is from an optocoupler which is um, detecting, there, there's, a, there's an extra hole in the disc for, for synchronization and um, the opto is uh, just picking up the hole as it goes by and produces a, an output that goes to the Arduino.
I'll just uh, turn it around again and we can go out with another little demo, uh, this time in close-up.